Now, next to the amplitude modulation, we have SMD, which stands for sync mode. So we can essentially sync the two oscillators together, which gives us even more sound possibilities. I'm gonna make this so that right now, oscillator two is gonna to sync to oscillator one. If I, see, oscillator two is all the way down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn oscillator two up, and I'm gonna turn oscillator one down. Now, if I go to oscillator two, I'm playing a sawtooth. If I adjust the tune, we hear it's not being adjusted in semitones. And we can hear these harmonic overtones being generated. Now if I go to oscillator one and I adjust the tuning here, now it sounds like oscillator two is being uh, adjusted chromatically. Now again, that's because oscillator two is syncing to oscillator one. We can change this the other way and make it so that oscillator one syncs to oscillator two. We go ahead and turn oscillator one up, turn oscillator two down. As I tune oscillator one, again, we can hear the harmonics being generated, but we don't actually hear this changing in semitones. If I change the pitch of oscillator two, then we do hear it changing chromatically. Now we can use these in tandem. Again, I don't have to turn down one of the oscillators. I can have these both up. It's gonna be a nice way for us to get some more aggressive kind of metallic overtones added to our sound. And for a sound like this, a really cool way to take advantage of this would be to use an LFO to modulate the tuning of uh, the synced oscillator. So just as an example, I'm gonna go to my LFO here and I'm gonna make it so that the first LFO, the destination is going to be the pitch, the frequency of oscillator one. There's frequency modulation right here. Actually pitch modulation, there we go. And as I increase the depth, Very nice way to add some movement to our sounds. I'm gonna make this relatively subtle, but I do like that sound. Now, while we have this going, let's go back to the sync page. And we also have another sync mode that's called metal. In this case, that's not really what I want, so I'm gonna put it back how I had it. There we go. The sync amount. At a maximum value, this gives us more of a hard sync kind of a sound. As I adjust this, you can make the sync a little bit less aggressive. As I bring this all the way down, they can actually hear the pitch modulation from oscillator one. So I like that a lot better. Now, next to that, this BND, this is a bend amount, and this is really most useful, uh, again, more for like drum sounds if you're trying to make more of a kick. What this will do is essentially create a very quick pitch envelope at the beginning of the note, at the note on message. So if I increase this, you can hear the pitch is quickly dropping when I play a note. Now, I don't really need that for now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust that. But again, for drum synthesis, that can be very helpful. And then next to that, we have a slide amount. Now, we can make it so that we can slide from one note to the next, but the only way this will work is if we enable legato. We can do this quite easily. If I just hold function and press one of my oscillator buttons, I see legato mode is right here. I have a few other options in here as well. Oscillator drift will give the oscillators their own sort of natural kind of pitch variance to make the sound more like an older, slightly out of tune analog synth. I actually like that quite a bit. I have my resonance boost enabled as well, but I came in here to enable legato. So if I enable legato and I step out, now I can make my notes bend into each other. And the amount of slide time depends on this parameter. So 
So a nice feature to have. And then below that we have vibrato. So we can enable vibrato here. And we can control the vibrato speed as well as determine if we want to fade the vibrato in or out. So I can make it start with very little vibrato and then gradually the vibrato will increase as the note is played. So again, we have a wealth of tools to utilize here when we're designing our sounds from scratch. So don't sleep on the second page of Oscillator 2. Amplitude modulation and Oscillator Sync can give us some very unique results.